everyone so previous video i explained how to create email helper by using python so how you can send a email to another person so that thing we already created through bot so today video i will explain you how you can call this bot by using python automation dag so let's start so this is the dag folder so here we need to create one file you can give anything that file name uh, for this video i will give you one convenient name so everyone can understand so i am giving this python email dag so you can give anything as per your convenient name so dot py so after this creating this one so previous video what i explained we need to create first initializing the modules so for modules i am using first date time module so from date time we need to import date time so this one we are going to be use for start date so those who are watching previously videos right so they know this one so currently those who are watching directly this video so they my suggestion is click the i button and complete the previous videos so here we are uh, importing dag and variable so there is a folder in airflow models so from there we are invoking this dag and variable so this video we are going to be use this dag so variable i will upload upcoming videos so you can watch that one so now for this specific dag we are going to be use python operator so python operator also stored in specific folder of airflow so here you can see airflow dot here you have to add operators after operators we need to invoke python operator first you have to add python underscore operator so inside this python operator we have to import that python operator which one we are going to be use so this python operator p and o you have to give capital after adding this one so this is the how you can initialize the default argu uh, default modules so after adding this one we have to define that default arguments where we can add some default arguments which is available in apache airflow okay so first i am giving that owner name so owner name you can give anything so currently i am giving my youtube channel name so owner is indicate as a who is the owner of this specific dag so here you can give anything as your convenient name so i am giving my youtube channel after that we have to add that start date okay so here you can call that start date okay this modules is coming by default let me remove this one we need to call this date time okay so this date time is a default module of python you can uh, no need to install externally so it will come by default here i am giving year month and date okay so this is the default arguments so now we will construct the dag so for that we have to add here with then we have to call this dag so whatever dag module we called above right so that one we have to invoke here for adding this one here we have to add dag id okay so dag id we can give anything so for uh, this testing and demo purpose i am giving one con convenient name so you can give anything so i am giving python email dag so after adding dag id we have to call the default arguments okay so for default arguments whatever i created above right so same variable i will call here so i am giving this default argument name here and uh, in apache airflow there is a features like uh, schedule interval okay so this schedule interval is working like a specific date and time we need to trigger so i am adding here currently i am following that none so we are manually hitting that one so it will execute as per our request so that command you could see here 
ही कैन ऐड स्कड्यूल अंडर स्कोर इंटरवल ओके सो आफ्टर ऐडिंग दिस वन करेंटली आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू सेट एनी स्पेसिफिक डेट एंड टाइम सो आई एम ऐडिंग नॉन ओके सो नॉन इन इंडिकेट एज इट विल नॉट एक्सिक्यूट विदउट एनी इंस्ट्रक्शन बै द यूजर नाउ ऐम असैनिंग दट वन ऐज ए डैग सो आफ्टर ऐडिंग दिस वन वी कैन गिव कॉल ऑन सो आफ्टर गिविंग कॉल ऑन वी हैव टू क्रिएट वन टास्क सो आई एम क्रिएटिंग टास्क लाइक वट एवर बॉट वी क्रिएटेड राइट सो दैट बॉट वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सिक्यूट बै यूजिंग दैट टास्क सो हियर आई एम क्रिएटिंग वन टास्क स्टार्ट अंडर स्कोर डैग यू कैन गिव एनी थिंग ओके एज यू वॉन्ट now we will call the python operator whatever module we added above right so that one we will call here so here we need to give task id so task id whatever task id you want you can give any name it's not like specific name you need to give after adding this one we need to call that python callable in python operator there is a command is there it's a default one so we have to call that python callable If you want to call any specific method, then we have to add this command, Python underscore callable. So after adding this one, we have to add this bot and invoke this bot in DAG. So you could see here that bot is available in bots folder. So for that, we have to initialize that bots folder first. Okay. After adding this one, we have to call this bot name. bot is nothing but a reusable functionality okay it's not like chat bot it's a reusable functionality so we can call this method anywhere i'm importing that function so this function name we have to call in python callable okay so then only airflow will understand we are calling that specific method now we are initializing the task id so whatever previously we created right however i am initializing the task the same way i am calling here after adding this task id this much only we need to do after adding this one the tag almost completed so we will save this one let me refresh the ui so now we are getting one error like no module named airflow dot operators so it's like uh, that operator spelling is incorrect let me rectify that one so here you could see whatever python operator we invoked right so that is unable to find that folder let me change that one or okay, it's already changed let me refresh one so here you could see that error has been resolved so this is the dag been added here in this ui let me open this one so this is the configuration something I already uploaded one video those who are watching fastly they can complete that previous videos so they can get more ideas now here you can see there are so many option grab view tree view let me click the grab view here you can easily see the option so it's a user friendly option currently uh, in inbox you could see this is the sender and this is the receiver okay there is a problem like after invoking that bot it is continuously sending email so let me uh, modify few things in that bot so this bot only i added here okay here you could see it is continuously sending to the recipient email after adding in the dag because dag is a automation thing right so for doing that one we need to modify some script so instead of send there is a name variable is there so here i am adding main method so after adding main we need to add a main underscore underscore one colon then we need to call the method so depend upon our request only i need to send email so after adding this one let's see it is resolved or not let me refresh this page and uh, delete this two thing first let me delete this one and uh, refresh this uh, interface let me reload after done this much of thing so here you could see it is not coming as of now okay so this one that is so i think that is resolved that is nothing is coming by default okay so currently what we need to do we need to go to that sender email so it is coming automatic multiple email so let it delete first 
so we can start from scratch so it will not many uh, make any conflict during our demo time and we can confirm also that is correct one or not so let me delete all the email so it is cleared so let me click here also okay it is also not coming here so that is a on and on option you can on it and here you could see trigger drag right you can click ok and again click the grab view so this is the ui here now you can see the start drag the right side you can refresh it so this light green color right it is indicated as a running state so let it refresh again so here you could see it is dark green color click the view log dark green color is indicated as a success so now it is completed i added a print method like success i think it is uh, working fine so we can cross verify again let me refresh the sender uh, gmail first so here you could see the send option click that one yeah it is sending email here you could see testing and testing success and it is sending to nayak simon also here also i am getting single email not like multiple emails like testing success yeah, yeah it is working as expected whatever we uh, implemented so this is the thing i explained in this video so thank you so much